Hey, thanks, Glenn. Jake, let me be the first to welcome you back to Columbus. Uh, did this uh, come out of nowhere for you? Not just where you were going, but the fact that you were being traded? Was it a, all a surprise? Uh, to be honest, not really. I kind of, you know, I'm pretty active on social media in terms of reading stuff. So uh, I uh, kind of knew it was going to happen. Just uh, weren't sure where or when. So I kind of stayed put. And uh, my girlfriend was uh, was telling me to just put the phone down. It's going to happen. And uh, on least expected times and uh, I was fishing with my family and uh, you know didn't have my phone on me and I had uh, about 10 missed calls from Chuck Fletcher and he told me I got traded to Columbus so uh, she was right and uh, sorry about that she was she was right and uh, you know I'm, I'm happy to be back and uh, you know can't wait to get it started again. What are your thoughts on just coming back to the town that you've, you've played in before you I know you're familiar with it but it's changed a lot. I think you've probably changed a lot in the time since you've been gone. It's been almost 10 years. Just your thoughts on coming back home again. Not almost 10 years. I think it's been past 10 years. It's already been 10 years. I see, but uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, you know, I'll be 32. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm sorry, Derek Dorsey just keep calling me right now. I don't know what, you know, I got to call him back. Uh yeah, I mean, I'm completely different, different player. I would say I'm a different human being. I'm a father right now, and uh, you know, like obviously a lot of changes, especially in the game of hockey in ten years. So, uh, you know, like I said, I talked to Yarmo, I talked to Chuck. I'm really excited about, uh, you know, they putting me in a spot that I can have a have a even more success than I had in Philadelphia, and uh, I'm really excited about that. You're such a playmaker, Jake. That's the the maybe the the most uh, impressive part about your game what are your thoughts just should it come to pass that you play on a line with Patrick Line who's got one of the great shots in this league well everybody knows that he's a uh, you know I would say top five most dangerous guys in the zone uh, when it comes down to shooting the puck and uh, obviously his, his wrist shot his shot overall I think it's it's one of the best and uh, but I would be I would be always careful with uh, you know how you putting those things out before you know, even a training camp because you never know what uh, what the coach would like to do. You never know how you guys are gonna get along on the ice, what kind of chemistry yeah. you guys are gonna have. So, uh, like I said, you know, I'm gonna come to training camp and uh, and I'm sure everything will fall into pieces and uh, and it will go from there. So obviously, everybody knows about Lina is a, is a one of the best pure shooters and scorers in a, in a, in a, in our era. And uh, and uh, if we're gonna play together, I hope we're gonna you know find a great chemistry and uh, and. Uh, help the team as much as possible to, to win games. Thank you. No problem. Next we'll go to Jeff Skowarski in uh, ABC6, Philadelphia. Hey, Jake. It's uh, Jeff Skowarski at ABC in Philly. Um, for you, is there a sense of sadness leading Philadelphia? And and how tough is it to, to leave Philadelphia, you know, knowing that, that you guys, you know, you had a good core there, that, you know, you guys weren't able to win a cup and, uh, you know, get to the Stanley Cup final? Well, obviously, when you're somewhere for 10 years, you imagining yourself, your teammates, especially with G and Coot, and it's basically it was only three of us left uh, to, to, to win. We didn't do it. Uh, last year was a really hard season, you know, for, uh, basically five months being stuck in a bubble uh, without a family. Uh, with the, all the restriction, it was a completely different thing. So the season go, didn't go as well as uh, we would like to uh, – we would like to uh, obviously plan, and uh, you know sometimes that happens. I mean, ten years is a long time. Uh, Flyers decided to go this way. I kind of had a feeling that uh, if something's gonna pop up for them, that uh, I'm gonna get traded, and I was open to it. I mean, down the road, it's a it's a business. You know what I mean? Like I I know how it works. Uh, there's no hard feelings between me or Chuck Fletcher, and um, I have a lot of lot of friends and a lot of memories from Philly. And uh, you know, the, my teammates knows knows the best. So uh, obviously, it's a bittersweet moment from this side of perspective. But uh, you know, something new brings everything. Uh, something new. So uh, I'm excited about that. And um, good for me that I know a lot of people in Columbus still. You know, Derek said Jared Ball, Rick Nash are still with the organization, which is awesome. We are really close friends, and uh, I'm really excited about uh, what's coming.